What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to attract high quality backlinks by leveraging AI. So let's go ahead and get started. So the idea of this strategy is to be able to create high quality charts or diagrams within your niche that will naturally attract links from people. So essentially what we'll do here, instead of just writing written content and expecting that content to rank, we want to create a specific resource that's new and unique to our industry so that when people are referencing information within our industry, they will want to link back to that um, chart. So for example, I created a chart here. Let's say you're in the travel or luxury niche. I created a chart about the top 10 cheapest places to travel. So we have Vietnam, we have Bangkok, we have Delhi, we have Chai Ming, and we have um, some other cities in here. And as you can see, it's color coordinated. So as you go over that color, it will also highlight the city on the right hand side. So this is a pretty neat way for you to be able to create a chart or a resource within your niche. It's much more visually appealing compared to a normal chart. So this would be an example of a high quality resource that will allow you to get backlinks within your niche. And you can accompany this by a blog post about the top 10 places to travel. But again, this is nice because it's an image. So this will be on Google image. So you can get some backlinks for that. You can share this on your social media. You can share this on Quora or any user generated website as well to help you get some more backlinks. So let's go over how you can actually go ahead and create a chart for any niche that you're in. The first thing that you need to gather is your data. So you need to figure out what you'll be creating your resource around. So if you have an idea of what you would like to create your resource or chart around, that's great. If not, you can always go over to ChatGPT to ask it what would be a good chart for you to create for your specific niche. So I've asked ChatGPT, I would like to create a unique and useful chart that websites will reference to in my niche. What would be a good topic? I am in the AI tools and software niche. So as you can see here, it's giving us some examples of um, charts and tables in which we can create. So we have AI tools, evolution timeline, AI capabilities, matrix, AI performance benchmarks, AI pricing and licensing model, AI tools by industry applications, AI tool learning curve, and so on. So as we can see here, we get some pretty decent um, ideas of things in which we can create that's fairly new and novel within our niche that will allow us to get those backlinks naturally. So to get an idea, if a suggestion is a good suggestion, copy that over, head over to Google, paste that in, and you'll be able to see what the SERP overview is for that specific um, search query. So we see here that there is a timeline of AI from the 1940s. If you have access to Ahrefs or any other keyword research tool, you can paste in that URL to get an overview of the search um, traffic and the keywords in which it's ranking for. And also you can get an overview of the backlinks. So if you know the backlinks, you can go ahead and create an up to date chart. So let's say that this doesn't include maybe 2023 information. You can create an up to date chart and then link or get in contact with those um, backlinks or websites that linked to this specific resource and have them link back to your new updated chart. And you can also go ahead and take a look at the keywords so we can see which organic keywords this website uh, page is ranking for. And we can go ahead and optimize our content for that keyword. We can see here that this timeline is from the 1940s to the 2000s, but it's not very detailed. So we can definitely go ahead and create a new up to date timeline with some new up to date tools and softwares within the AI space that's more recent. And it should allow us to be able to outrank and, and, and be able to attract some high quality backlinks because this is not a resource that's currently available on the internet. So in order to create a much better chart than the one that we previously just saw, the first thing that we need to do is gather the right input. So I've searched up AI tools revolution, a timeline from 2020 to now, and I found a tech target um, article, which has a pretty in-depth um, timeline of um, AI evolution over time. So what I can do is I can copy all of this content here and I'm going to head over to Claude. The reason why I'm using Claude is because Claude has a much larger context window. It can understand much more words compared to ChatGPT. So we'll, we'll be using Claude first to condense our information. Then we'll be using ChatGPT to actually go ahead and create that table for us. Let's go back and try to find some more relevant information. So artificial intelligence timeline, this is updated up to 2020. So again, Let's go ahead and scroll down. We're going to gather all of this information and we're going to paste that again into Claude. So again, we're just gathering information from different sources because that will allow us to be able to have a much more unique piece of content because the AI can take all of that information, condense it and take only the things that are most important or the objective that we have. So once you've gathered all of your data, 
Next, you want to prompt the AI. So I've told it we will be creating a chart about the evolution of AI over time. So please organize this information by year and significant process that occurred at that time. So here's the summary of the information that we got back from Claude. It did a pretty good job of taking all of that information and summarizing it into a nice, succinct um, timeline in which we can follow. So let's go ahead and copy this over. Now we're going to head over to ChatGPT, and this is where the fun starts. So we're going to be using GPT-4, and you need to be using the plugin mode. My favorite one right now is Diagram with the dot after the R. I haven't really used Diagrams, which has show me. Let's go ahead and remove that. And I've also used the Diagrams with the blue sort of logo, and that one's also pretty good. And I've also been playing around with whimsical diagrams, and this has actually been pretty nice as well to create flowcharts and mind maps. I've prompted the AI by telling it to create a detailed flowchart of the timeline of AI throughout the years using the information below. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll kind of see which um, plugin um, it uses because I enabled all three of the plugins. So we'll see which plugin it uses, and we'll kind of test to see which plugin gives us the best quality outputs. So here's the flowchart of the timeline of AI throughout the years, and we use the whimsical diagram plugin. Let's go ahead and view this um, diagram. So just from first um, thought, it looks pretty good. It is very detailed, but I like how it's able to kind of, you know, start from the foundations of AI, move down into the 1960s, and then goes a little bit deeper into the 1970s and so on. So it is very nice. It's a little bit complicated at first look. So Maybe we'd want to do something to make this a little bit less complicated because I told it to create a detailed flowchart. So maybe I would tell it just to create a simpler flowchart that will be easy to read and understand. But as you can see here, um, it was able to take that information and it was able to give us a nice chart that's very unique. I guarantee you that there is nothing like this on the internet. Maybe there's something that's kind of like this, but not like this specific resource. And this is what allows you to get those backlinks because it takes a little bit longer uh, you know, for you to gather all that information and for you to prompt the AI and for the AI to give you the correct outputs. But once you're able to do so, you can then go ahead and copy over this image, upload this onto a blog post where you talk about the time of a timeline of AI. But because you have such a visual aspect and a visual piece, this will allow you to be able to um, rank a lot faster and also allow you to get those backlinks a lot quicker. And you also have the ability to edit and customize this flowchart or any charts that you create using whimsical diagrams on the left-hand side here. So that's also a nice um, touch that you have. If you would like to save your diagram, all you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to do so. So next up, I've asked the AI what other types of charts will be good for this information. And it's given us some suggestions here. So we have a timeline chart. We have a bar chart, stacked bar chart, area chart, mind map, tree diagram, and so on. So again, if you want to get more recommendations, just go ahead and ask the AI and it will be able to do that for you. So when you're creating your charts, I definitely recommend that you keep all of the three plugins that I've used because the AI will then decide which plugin is the best for creating that type of chart. So for example, it used the diagram app for the timeline chart, but for the uh, mind map, it's using whimsical diagrams. So here's the mind map that visualizes the timeline of AI throughout the years. And this is also really good. So again, we can view and edit. And I think I might like this a little bit better because this is much, much easier for you to Kind of understand so you can see where it all started when it goes into the 1980s what comes out of that when it goes into the 1990s what comes out of that into the 2000s and the 2020s so this is really really good um this is easy to understand and again you can pop this up onto your website it's a very very nice visual to have and then you can accompany this with a blog post about you know the evolution of ai over time so as you guys can see, it's pretty easy for you to be able to create different types of charts. The most important thing is getting the right information. And once you get that information, you can then use Claude to concise that information because Claude has a much bigger context window and it can understand a lot more text. And then you can use that information to plug it into ChatGPT, use the diagrams um, plugins, and then ask it to create a chart for you and just work with the plugin to create the best possible chart. As you can see, this is an easy way for you to create these different types of diagrams, which allow you to naturally get backlinks because people will want to reference these resources because it's not easily found online. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.